Most of us strive to build a better life for ourselves, but all too often the building blocks of society crumble around us. More than a billion people throughout the world live on less than a dollar a day. 100 million children don't go to school and 24,000 people die from hunger daily. In Southern Africa, over 40% of the population of more than 250 million people is poverty stricken. We must seek new ways to end inequality and understand the root causes of poverty. That's the first step to building stronger and more prosperous societies in Southern Africa. Although there is commitment to overcoming poverty in Southern Africa, a more integrated and regional approach is needed if poverty is to be overcome. The different role players, especially those with greater power, must each recognize that they cannot achieve this historic goal alone. Policies aimed at overcoming poverty are the result of bargaining and negotiation between different interest groups in society. But all too often, the voices of people living in poverty are not heard when policies are being shaped. Bringing together government, business and civil society to hear each other and cooperate to end poverty in Southern Africa is central to the work of the Southern Africa Trust. As an independent, non-profit agency, the Trust builds deeper and wider engagement among all stakeholders so that the resulting policies can work better to overcome poverty. Its main interest is for the voices of the poor to have a bigger say in what's being done to bring an end to poverty. The Trust is the only organization of its kind working in the Southern Africa region, working regionally, focused on the policy dimensions of poverty. We not only cooperate with organizations to encourage them and support them to take on particular activities, but we actually provide the financial resources to enable them to do that. We are very engaged with the organizations that we work with, so we don't operate as uh, traditional donors do, where we just make money available at some distance, but we are actively engaged as part of this region. Uh, we assess and analyze the different policy trends. Uh, we identify gaps where there is a need for greater activity by the organizations in the region. By and large, these organizations don't cooperate with each other. So we work primarily to link up different organizations working on similar issues and in a particular way to strengthen the linkages of those organizations with the real experiences of the communities that they intend to serve. And when you talk about a community, you are talking about human beings. We are talking about people. In view of that, we think that uh, the best way to achieve that is to bring the different stakeholders in our region, in our community, as they are organized as civil society. So in fact, what we are doing is to put forward the recommendation and the content of our treaty to bring the community to bring the civil society to support member states in taking forward our common agenda, which is the reduction of poverty, eradication of poverty in the Southern African region. We believe that our role as private sector is to create wealth, uh, create um, um, opportunities for businesses so that the economies can grow. And we believe that with vibrant economies, you therefore have capacity uh, to create jobs. And that once you've created jobs which are sustainable, uh, you contribute extensively in the um, uh, reduction of, of poverty. We, will, we support the regional NGOs to lobby and advocate for democracy, good governance in the region, for economic justice that they represent the interest of the poor. Uh, and provide support and capacity building for the regional networks to be able to, to fulfill their mandates of poverty eradication at the regional level. The Trust has an inclusive and participatory approach to policy engagement, striving to link regional and national poverty reduction strategies more coherently with all stakeholders engaged. If you look at the region at the moment, 
they are pursuing what they're calling poverty reduction strategy papers. And these are kind of World Bank, International Monetary Fund, IMF sponsored uh, initiatives where they look at a country's nature of poverty and then they do a diagnostic of how they can deal with that poverty but also using that policy framework as access to resources for their less developed countries. And then at the regional level you have within SADC what they call the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan which again is a broad policy framework that is guiding member states on how they're going to deal with poverty and in there really they emphasize that uh, for you to deal with poverty you have to make sure that there is a regional integration agenda pursued. The Southern Africa Trust is as committed to governing and implementing its work in absolute accordance with its declared policies as it is to fulfilling its mission. It is committed to being held accountable to its mission, values and policies. Yeah, the governance is ensured by the Board of Trust. Our, it's our responsibility to make sure that policies are in place, they are reviewed, they are um, implemented, but also it's our responsibility to, to make sure that those policies are in line with good corporate governance like anywhere else. It's our fiduci fiduciary responsibility to make sure that the trust abide to uh, all the corporate governance uh, standards. Including diverse voices is a solid foundation for developing policies that are effective in overcoming poverty. Stronger voices that have the means and resources tend to influence the outcome of policies to serve their interests. Inevitably, voices of the poor are not heard clearly in policy development. As a result, effective policies that address the root causes of poverty based on the real experiences of people living in poverty are missing. To close this gap, the Southern Africa Trust supports civil society organizations to participate credibly and more effectively in policy dialogue, so that the voices of the poor can shape the development of public policies. The Trust believes that policies that are informed by the real experience of people living in poverty will work better to end poverty. The Trust is therefore helping to link organizations working on similar issues across the Southern Africa region so that the impact on poverty is maximized. It then supports the groups of organizations to actively engage in policy development processes. This is one of the unique ways in which the Trust works as a grant-making agency. I say with children, we work a lot with uh, partner NGOs within South Africa and uh, we, we therefore put a lot of effort into trying to develop capacities, their capacities for implementing programs. So where you have an organization like the South African Trust, uh, being able to provide funding to us, we then are able to distribute this funding with many other local NGOs to create capacities here.